So I'm actually going to show you how to send an email in Sweet CRM and do any troubleshooting um, if you have any problems with emailing. So uh, basically here's a contact record and if I want to email that person I can essentially just click on the email address. Okay and so what you see here is the from and the to and you can send an email address accordingly um, an email right from here accordingly. Every now and then you do run into issues with delivery and configuration. So what you're going to do is to set that up is you're going to go to the admin section of Sweet CRM. Uh, you then are going to go into email settings. And there's a couple of things you can look at in, in terms of troubleshooting if you get any errors or you're having trouble for it to get sent out. First thing and foremost is think about the email provider. Um, so is it Gmail? Is it Yahoo? Is it Exchange? Um, if it doesn't fall into any one of these buckets, please choose Other. And Other will give you the option to kind of configure everything from your SMTP mail server to your uh, username and password. And so what you'll do is uh, check with your hosting provider on what the SMTP settings are. And that's what you would place here. Make sure to put your username and password. There's another setting here to either allow customers or users on your Sweet CRM platform to use the account or not, um, you can check that and checking that allows them to use that mail server uh, to send out email. They have to have an account in order for that to work. Um, if they do not have an account, then essentially um, this will not work for them. So you got to make sure that your mail server is configured not only for you to use it, um, but for your users to use it. So again, you can check that or uncheck that if they have their own email accounts. Uh, that's useful for when you're sharing, uh, you know, one domain. Uh, if everybody's going to come from one company like jperez at servicepush.com or whatever your company name is. The other thing you want to work or look at is if you still have issues uh, with sending out outbound emails is look at the ports uh, that your hosting provider recommends. Uh, SMT port, SMTP ports, typically it's 465, but your hosting provider may suggest something else. And I would definitely uh, play around with that. Um, and also look at whether or not you want to use SSL or TLS uh, for the authentication. Um, so it's going to be critical to uh, play around with these settings and then send a test email to see if it's working. And that's what I'm doing right now. And you'll see if it's working, it will actually send an email. Hit save once you're done, and that's the best way to troubleshoot email support issues.